Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, welcome back to NPTEL online course on structure, form and architecture, the synergy. Today we are at lecture number 18 and in this lecture we will be talking about tensile structure. So like the previous lecture we discussed about compressive structures where we have discussed about different uh, you know form uh, like arch, then vault, then flying buttress which are uh, like mainly taking care of the compressive load. And now in this lecture we will be talking about uh, those structural arrangement or structural form that are uh, mainly taking the tension, uh, taking care of the tension force or uh, we can relate it to the tensile stress. And again uh, as we discussed earlier that this classification is based on like the predominance of which kind of force being acting on that. So, your same structure will may have something like a compression or some bending stress, but predominantly it is taking care of the tension. So, based on that this presentation or this lecture is designed. So, uh, let us uh, start this particular discussion. So, in this uh, particular picture what is uh, like visible is basically a very beautiful bridge okay and to be specific this is called suspended bridge suspended cable bridge so what exactly it is that we'll discuss in this lecture but one uh, particular thing that you can see that uh, in this case the cable being used and they are in tension so these cables they are taking care of the tensile load of this whole structure and this is uh, that is why the capable suspended bridges are coming into the category of tensile structure. Now, if you see that uh, like the concept of tensile structure, so here also the structural arrangement of element that carries only tension, no compression, they are called like tensile structure at the same time uh, along with no compression there will be no bending as well. But uh, there are some structure that we will discuss that where a component uh, may be a minor component that are taking the compression as well. The tensile structure load bearing capacity is achieved through tension only and majority of the component as we mentioned keep on saying uh, that the majority of the component of a structural arrangement they are dealing with the tension uh, tensile stress. Now, in this uh, the boundary uh, the example of that that is boundary tension membranes is one the tensile fabric structures is uh, alternative we can say the pneumatic structure we discussed earlier that is also uh, considered to be uh, your uh, tensile structure then you have pre stress cable nets or beam. So, the cable net structure normally being used we will see that this is being used for uh, you know making the roof for the stadium where you uh, use the membrane to make the structure light. So, how they are supported with the cable nets and uh, the cable beam. So, tension is basically the ability of a material uh, to prevent against the pulling load. So, when you pull, so uh, in comparison to the earlier example which looks very similar, but in this case again it is act, acting on this axis the main axis, but in this case it is basically the pulling, the other one is on the pushing. Now, in this case what are the changes that normally takes place in tension? So, if you take the example of a spring, so basically if you add load, so it will try to expand and uh, you will see that uh, it is uh, elongated. So, the tensile stress developed within this material. So, this is one. Now, at the same time like you just uh, try to hold uh, a particular structure uh, okay, may be a roof or may be particular uh, cantilever and you just 
use a cable to hold it. So, in this particular member, this cable member what essential? So, it will have some loads so if you apply load to it, then in this member what uh, is the phenomena will be developed. So, it will try to turn, okay. so it will always try to go this side. So, this is basically uh, you know this member is in tension. So, this cable is acting to hold this member. So, this arrangement specially the major members which are taking care of you know preventing that structure from collapse is taking tensile uh, load. So, this is again a tensile structure. So, based on that uh, principle how it is being supported and how load are being carried out. Uh, for tensile structure, it is being classified in five category. One is the state, uh, you know, cable. We can say the other one is the suspended. The initial picture that I have shown of your uh, bridge is basically of the suspended category. Then uh, there is a category called anticlastic. So uh, this is some term that we need to understand very clearly. So basically. Anticlastic is that it is a structure uh, making of the curvature, but with two curvature acting in opposite direction, two different direction we have uh, this curvature. So, uh, we will discuss that uh, in that particular slide what is anticlastic. Then pneumatic is basically the structure uh, made of like uh, with the pressure of the air uh, that uh, can form. Uh, is basically the pneumatic structure and trust. Sometimes we can go with the um, you know cable trust and also we'll discuss that as well. So in this state uh, tensile structure, uh, basically the whole mass, uh, you know the roof and other things, they are being uh, supported with the state cable. So these are if you see in board, so these are basically your state. The stake cable. So, they are taking care of this and you know in all these members so which actually support they are developing tension, but at the same time as I mentioned in this particular bar the mast uh, sometimes we say. So, basically they are carrying the load to the ground. So, this will take compression, but predominantly if you see the overall uh, arrangement. So, it is basically uh, coming under the state cable uh, structure. So, this is one kind of arrangement and this is uh, again you can see a modern building. So, their state uh, tensile structure being used. Take the other example. So, uh, it is uh, again showing that you have uh, this kind of arrangement of you know uh, the rails or the beam which are being uh, you know connected with this particular mast. Uh, so, this is again the state cable where tension is developed on this. So, basically this is another uh, uh, you know kind of setup into the category of state tensile structure. Now, uh, considering that Two, we have another example. This is the Millennium Dome in London. The huge structure, this membrane structure, creating some space. Uh, and in this case, also, if you see that this mast are placed to as a compressive members, and all these particular roof being connected with uh, you know the uh, state cable. So it is taking care of uh, the form and the overall structure that been made. So, these all are in tension. So, overall this arrangement is called state uh, tensile structure, state cable tensile structure. Come to the suspended one. So, in this case uh, we started with the golden gate bridge uh, that image and here it is another image of that where you get all these you know vertical members. Uh, which are giving support, but the main support being given with this particular cable, so which is in tension. So, in this case, uh, these all tensile uh, cables like these all also trying to take care of the tensile force that being generated in this particular bridge. So, the load 
whenever there is some imposed load on this, they are putting some pressure uh, to the structure and that being taken care of by this cable which is suspended from a uh, running cable. So, this is uh, the example of the tensile structure and why it is called tensile because the majority of the you know elements in this whole system they are taking the tensile uh, force and they are resisting that uh, and that is why the name it is. So, if you see this like this is the overall um, the structure where like they have shown in this like different component how they are making the structure stable, but our concern is to know this uh, the main cables and the vertical uh, you know what we call vertical suspender ropes which is taking care of this. So, the whole member uh, like whole support with these members are uh, specially taking care of the tensile force being developed due to the applied load for the main bridge. So, the structure that being made on top of the main bridge or the carriageway where the vehicles and people are moving. So, these are responsible to taking tension and it is suspended uh, tensile structure that we can say. This is another example with the Clifton suspension bridge uh, in Bristol. Uh, you can see that uh, like how this has been made. It is pretty similar to look like the Golden Gate bridge but this is another example into the same category. Now, this is very important uh, the anti clastic. So, as I mentioned that uh, this is basically a plane uh, having curvature, but in opposite direction. If you see in this case and you can sometimes relate with uh, like very easy example that I can give you uh, is basically um, if you go and uh, purchase some potato chips. So, many of that chips is giving this particular uh, form. So, what exactly this is uh, uh, that means that here if you see the curvature in this. Okay. So, you have curvature in this direction okay, and at the same time you have curvature in this direction. So, the same plane being arranged where two curvature having you know the opposite direction. So, this is very much uh, you know uh, important to know uh, for the anticlastic. The opposite to that is synclastic where all the curvatures say for the dome all the curvatures from left or x y z whatever the axis in both all the sides it will give you the similar kind of uh, direction. So, in this case it is in opposite direction. So, it is anticlastic and this can be achieved through different kind of parabolic, hyperbolic or parabolic hyperboloid kind of form. And if you see some of the work uh, done by uh, architect Felix Candela. So, then you can get all these example like even in oceanographic building or in some uh, other buildings of that type will get this kind of anticlastic curvature where uh, it is being used with the uh, you know tensile stress and this can be also formed with the membrane or fabric not only the concrete with the fabric also we create it uh, and we will have some pictures on that too. So, in this case if you see uh, like uh, uh, the application of anticlastics. So, here also you get the curvature one is like this and the other one is just getting the support to the bottom. So, again it is being uh, supported with a cable and you have some mast compressive members as well which will take those load to the foundation. Take the another example, it is basically a conical shape uh, fabric structure, then this is basically from the state. Uh, Arizona University campus. So, in that case also these fine uh, you know like cables they are taking the main load and you, if you see the curvature also here you have a different kind of you know arrangement somewhere this cone is upside sometimes it is in the downward direction, but we are getting the curvature in different manner. So, it is basically again you can uh, resembles with the example I have given. So, the two curves the they are acting like their direction are different 
then that is why called it is anticlastic. Now, come to the pneumatic structure. Uh, pneumatic structure is basically what I uh, mentioned earlier that the structure is formed uh, with the help of the um, air. So, air is uh, uh, injected through like very thin membrane structure and which will give you the form. Here also like it is giving uh, some kind of form uh, where it is being so light and normally to cover some you know uh, area. Uh, and you have to make your structure super light. So, then you can go with this. So, this is the Tokyo dome where uh, this uh, particular you know activity place is being covered with this pneumatic structure where air is used to give this particular form and being supported uh, like this is get connected at the top and those particular you know members these cables they are just giving and the proper shape of uh, this structure. So, this is again another example of the tensile structure where mainly uh, those portion okay, due to the air blow and also this will try to expand. So, go away from each other. So, tension being developed at this point. So, this is example of the pneumatic structure. This is uh, another pneumatic structure being covered in a football stadium, but uh, uh, later on it uh, being uh, dismantled. But uh, this pointing uh, silver dome in Michigan, so this is the same like the Tokyo dome. So, in this case also you get uh, like this particular division to just give the form, so that it will take uh, the proper shape so that can act with. So, this is uh, again another example of the tensile structure. Now, come to the tensile stars, uh, trust uh, structure. So, where in state of those cable and state cable or suspension we use the truss. So, what is truss? Uh, so far uh, we have seen some of the examples and we will also discuss more on the truss. So, it is basically something like the arrangement of the structural member in a triangular form which will be much more effective to you know distribute the load uh, apply load on it and it uh, actually manage this with uh, some you know load transfer with some member will take compression, some will take uh, tension and then they will actually balance it and maintain the static equilibrium. So, that is very important uh, for uh, making a truss. So, in this case uh, again the cable being used you can see uh, this is uh, like uh, olden Buck stadium in Germany where like uh, again it is a membrane structure like all other Again, the curvature, if you see that you get this anticlastic form, uh, which is uh, actually taking care of all this load applied on it, but it is being supported with a truss system. So, you have a uh, you know cable, and along with that, to complete the truss, you also have something uh, which is very, very you know small uh, cross sectional you know cables which is making the form. So, this particular truss that being formed and taking the fabric and the to cover it up. So, it is making tensile structure, but in this category of trust. This example is another one of that, but here it is in state of uh, the cable trust. It is uh, the normal trust being used where uh, the cover is being made with again the fabric, but overall like uh, the trussing uh, being made and you can see that at the top also in order to you know take uh, this particular structure stable and all. So, those must being created and this is getting connected at different points. Uh, so, that it is holding the uh, overall balance and all to maintain it. So, again with this cables and all it is uh, giving that tension and it is coming under the category of tensile structure, but along with all this truss it is coming into the trust category. So, this is a very useful uh, information that uh, we are getting in this particular lecture. Uh, so, uh, what we have seen now uh, based on that we also would like to know the, the uses already depending on the variety of the uh, application of the tensile truss that it is really helpful to make the light roof over stadium or any like it may be a uh, open uh, 
kind of stadium just to cover the spectator area or else we can also use it in a form of pneumatic structure to cover up the whole uh, space like whenever we have anything called your indoor sports stadium uh, something like for to be made for like this Tokyo Dome or the other one that we used uh, like that um, we discussed that is for to cover uh, a football stadium. So, this is one uh, like uh, use of the tensile structure again the roof of the indoor sports arena that we discussed then sometimes not only like uh, to cover the huge span sometimes in order to you know uh, make it very light for the parking areas or any you know to any shaded area in the open plaza and all we can also have this kind of tension and fabric structures uh, which will really uh, make our thing column free. Say for example, if we have a, like a vertical member or roof, so you have to initially support it with two members, but at the same time the advantage with the uh, structure uh, like then you can go for something like you just use a tension cable with a mast and you can create this with a very light material. So, that this portion is column free you can use uh, um, the you know you can maximize the use of that space. So, this is for the parking areas. Then come to the large span without obstruction that we have seen uh, specially where we have seen that millennium drum where the what is uh, really a you know covering uh, very huge space with the state cable and those mast. So, this is also useful there uh, to uh, go for the particular you know covering of uh, the large span um, in uh, you know in your structure. Then uh, the important thing that we started with that is also this kind of tensile suspension cable structure being used to make the bridges sometimes maybe the cantilever sometimes some you know uh, making some temporary structures of uh, that nature. Uh, which is very useful to carry all the load with the suspension cable and the supporting cables the vertical uh, suspended cables which will help uh, the main cables to take the load. Then sometimes uh, maybe we have seen in many Olympic state uh, you know games that um, the swimming pool is being covered they are also we use this tensile structure and as we mentioned that we can also go with this cantilever structure. So, this is uh, about the use of the tensile structure. Now, uh, if we want to just summarize this particular uh, you know fact that uh, uh, in this we discussed about the tensile structure. So, what is the tension there? So, whenever uh, any object is giving some you know pulling load. So, that will try to expand and uh, the internal strain that develop it is basically your tensile stress. So, depending on that um, like uh, the structure which the main uh, most of the members of that structural arrangement is taking care of this tensile load is uh, basically the tensile structure. So, depending on the position and the member used and the type uh, of uh, you know what we call uh, the way they uh, resist the load against uh, the applied forces. So, then uh, we have some category. So, we started with the state cable where like the example that I have given with the millennium dome where the large span is being divided there is some support as a compressive member and the whole roof being supported with the state cable. So, this is one uh, example where uh, it is being supported with the mast and the straight cable. So, this is the arrangement of both, but the earlier the next one that we discussed that is the suspended one. Suspended one uh, we discussed about that particular golden bridge where the main cables and the suspended verticals members they are taking care of the load implied on this particular bridge. So, whatever the load of the traffic, whatever the load of uh, your you know vehicles, people, dead load everything is taken care of this suspension cable. So, this is again a full of you know tension those members are in tension and they are able to uh, cater the you know purpose to 
hold it. So, this is again the suspended structure. Then what we discussed is basically um, one of them uh, like uh, we uh, pneumatic. So, in pneumatic structure it is basically you use the air okay, and you give that pressure. So, your structure will make a form of a dome or something and then with the cable you can give a shape to it. So, this is also being useful to make some portable structure or make some you know con convention hall or convocation hall or last span where also it is uh, similar to uh, your uh, the dome millennium dome, but here the whole thing being done through air pressure management and with some cable to just give the shape. So, it is in the pneumatic form. So, this is uh, again very important. Then also we discussed about the trust. So, some of uh, like uh, some of the uh, examples that we have seen in a stadium that were the fabric structure uh, that being used. So, um, in that case like uh, the cable trust uh, you know truss being used and they hold it the structure with the other cable, but along with that instead of the state cable uh, for trust kind of tensile structure. So, they use the truss as a member. We have seen another example also where the roof of the stadium, the football stadium is uh, just supported with uh, truss and then it is the membrane to make or reduce the weight of the structure. Then the other one that we discuss very important one that is your anticlastic. So, anticlastic means we have given example, I have given example of the chips. So, basically wherever you have such kind of you know structure uh, where like you get this particular shape where uh, the plane is basically a uh, plane if you just give the curvature okay, uh, to give the form where both are having uh, some you know different direction the opposite direction. So, here you can get that it is giving some direction of the curvature and here it is something different. So, this kind of hyperbolic parabolic or hyperbolic parabolic form being used and many work being done by Felix Candela and um, then later on many such structural engineers and architects and we have some good buildings uh, that like oceanographic building and other building where like it is taking the load of the tension, but uh, uh, this is not only being used for the concrete structure. We also have seen that this is being used with the membrane structure and we have seen that how that can be done. It uh, can be done with a conical shape, it can be done in a wavy shape. So, different kind of fabric tensile structures uh, will fall into this anticlastic tensile structure category and uh, will definitely uh, discuss those you know fabric structure in one particular lecture in detail where we will also see. So, there the, our focus will be on this fabric structure and the component, but considering the load it can take it is of the tensile type. So, uh, that is why we discussed in this particular chapter. So, five types of uh, tensile structure broadly that we used, but apart from that as we discussed in the previous lecture that even in the compressive uh, structure like dome they are uh, the circumference uh, hoops they are taking the tensile structure. So, tensile load. So, basically um, uh, the tension and compression and bending they are acting in uh, like uh, in various kind of arrangement of structure, but some of the structure where the tension is very predominant, sometimes the bending is very predominant, sometimes maybe the compression is very predominant and depending on the classification uh, happened. So, this is all over the uh, tensile structure and I have uh, given uh, a very few of many such uh, beautiful tensile structure example and I uh, ask you to uh, just you know uh, extend that particular list. You also put uh, the examples of each of these five categories so that uh, things will be clear and we will exchange that in uh, the forum or in the discussion section that how this can be classified in which category of tensile structure or compressive structure. And uh, these are the reading materials, the same reading materials you go through it. And if you want to know more about the examples and their different uh, you know you know theory background and the material being used to construct that, you can always go through those links I have given 
in each of the slide. So, with that I conclude this particular lecture and we will move forward to the lecture number 19 that is all about the load bearing structure. So, we will be discussing different load bearing structure in that lecture and um, before I conclude I really want to thank you all for taking part in this course uh, and um, like we will be waiting for the next lecture till then bye bye thank you.